but it's functional and it was really cheap, but I do sort of hate it. All right, so I got the tailgate mat, which is actually a treadmill carpet pad that I uh, liberated from the in-laws house. And I throw that over the tailgate and just to keep it in place while the bikes aren't in, a couple bungees. So, oh, that worked well. It's time for an inside project. So, you may have seen the truck with the bikes over the tailgate. I want to be able to get two bikes on one side of the tailgate, but still not get to the halfway point because I still want the backed up camera. This is precisely, well, we're just going to figure out halfway by doing this. You know, if someone was good at making videos, they'd probably go stand on the other side of the table so you could see what they were doing. 77 and a half. You guys are kidding me. 78 at 3 eighths. I'm just going to measure it down the center, eyeball it, and shoot it. Alright, well, this is already starting off great. 78 flat up, straight up. 39 inches should be halfway. Somebody check that real quick and let me know. Just try to line up on it and keep moving. So, I carefully measured, you know, up to that third knuckle is how much I need to take off here. So, that's four and a quarter inches. I'm going to round that up to four and a half like every guy does. And we'll go ahead and split that and take it off each side. So, some people, if you're still watching, are wondering what the purpose of this is. This was free, and what more do you need to know? Plus now. All right, that edge is gonna get covered up. How I'm picturing it. That is somewhat, so if I line up the edges even, that's, that's, that's the inch that we had when we measured it. Well, it ain't pretty. We can already start there. We're going to work off of that. Whatever's left over, we'll snip. So my plan was to now take these edges, double them over, and glue the two pads together on the flat. That's actually pretty good. So we can just use the stair nose that I took off from the flooring that I did but didn't finish. Now you get a perfect clamping surface to keep this held down while it glues up. Here we go. This was a bad idea. You can tell currently that this is a bad idea. Especially to do it all at once. Well, it smells wonderful in the kitchen, by the way. Probably going to be getting cut off in a number of minutes. Mistakes were made. It's salvageable, but from where I cut, I, I guess I turned the whole thing 90 degrees in my head. I should have glued on my cut edge. No, I see, I don't know. Whatever, we're here. 
we've got this thing and I've got 31 and a half to 32 ish inches before I cover up the camera so if I'm good with just gluing one tempting fate one time I can get a straight edge slice this thing at 32 inches keep this as the outside lower edge have this up on top of the tailgate trying to save a buck may have actually cost more we didn't optimize it as well but i've got a couple of ideas still square it up now uh measuring off this edge is pretty straight so i'll just shoot down 31 and a half 32 inches 31 maybe And now I have a single bike uh, to look at. Yeah. Let's go check it out. Looks like that'll do it. That's still going to be in the way of the camera. This bulge. So we can somehow suck it in. I could live with it. All right, well, it's not perfect, but I'm hoping that when the bike is put up here, it might tuck this back more. Uh, this edge is decent, but kind of looks like, I didn't really think about this either, but the tailgate is much thinner here and gets much thicker as it goes across. Not only does it get fatter at the top, it also overhangs. Oh, brother. All right. Well, that's probably as good as it's going to get, at least for this trip. So there's your, uh, if not free, two bungee straps and a $25 yoga mat tailgate pad. If you could just get a moving blanket, that's just a waterproof moving blanket, essentially. So... Was it worth it? You can just lift it. I think that'll work. It does kind of suck this in a little bit, but at this point, it, I mean, the mirrors work. 